Hi, my name is Phil Ewells and I work at the National Genomics Infrastructure, part of SciLife Lab in Sweden. I started working on MultiQC shortly after I joined the NGI. I found that bioinformaticians were spending a lot of time looking at the terminal, trying to find various metrics for QC reporting. It was really boring and also quite error prone. I started MultiQC to take those numbers and generate a visual report where it was easy to spot outlier samples. MultiQC is a Python package, you can install it using pip, and you run it on the command line just supplying a directory with the finished analysis of your bioinformatics run. MultiQC generates a report which you can then look over. MultiQC supports multiple different bioinformatics tools and can handle a lot of samples in a single report. It also gives standardized output in addition to the HTML, such as CSV or JSON or YAML, which can be useful for downstream analysis. What started off as a small internal reporting tool has become very popular now, with an excess of 20,000 different runs per week, which is astonishing. MultiQC has grown quite a lot over the five years that I've been working on it. Back in 2017, when I presented it at BOSC in Prague, it supported just under 40 different bioinformatics tools. Now it's grown to just under 100 different tools, and you can see a nice tick just after the BOSC, which was the CodeFest. It's not just me writing all of this code, the number of different contributors to MultiQC has also grown a lot over time. And what's quite interesting is that people are starting to use MultiQC as a kind of framework, and tool authors are planning to use MultiQC for the reporting for their tool. Okay, so what else is new with MultiQC? You've been able to use MultiQC with PIP, Bioconda, and with the Galaxy Wrapper for quite a long time now. But thanks to some recent code refactoring, it's now much easier to run on Windows as well as Unix systems. And we also have a Docker and Singularity image. The Docker image is very easy to run. Just bind your directory and then run MultiQC with all the normal flags that you would normally. The container is very optimized. It's a very tiny file size, so it's quick to download. To use Singularity, you just point it at the same Docker container on Docker Hub, and Singularity will automatically convert this to a Singularity image. One of the side effects of the code refactoring is that you can now import MultiQC into Python scripts and run it from there. This is particularly useful if you're using Jupyter, for example. Right now, you can't do much more than just generate a report, but in the future, I'm hoping to refactor the code more and more so that you can run specific modules and output specific plots in the middle of your report. This will be really helpful, I think, for a lot of people. You can customize just about every aspect of a multi-QC run and report. Uh, a few of the new things which have appeared in recent releases are the ability to add conditional formatting to tables, so flagging and highlighting different cells depending on their, their value. Custom content is a multi-QC feature where you can input data which is not one of the traditionally supported multi-QC modules. Support for custom content has grown better and better in recent years, and you can now give it arbitrary HTML snippets to put into your report. You can also give multi-QC images and customize the metadata and descriptive text that go around those images. Custom content can now also be grouped into sections and subsections, which gives it a much more native feel and makes it easier to navigate. The multi-QC modules themselves can also be customized a lot. One particularly useful feature is that you can run a multi-QC module multiple times in a single report. You can filter which input files it uses on each one of those runs, which means that, for example, you can run it before and after filtering or trimming or something like this. For each one of those module runs, you can customize the name of the section and add comments. MultiQC typically runs in a few seconds, so it's not the kind of tool you really need to spend a lot of time optimizing. However, if you're running with very large projects, such as single cell, or running in a pipeline which runs many, many times, it can be good to try and squeeze some extra seconds out of it. In the latest release, there's a new flag called Profile Runtime, and if you specify that, MultiQC will report how long it spends in the different parts of its analysis. Typically, the first step where it searches through the different files is the most time consuming. As well as this log output, MultiQC will also add some sections into your report describing how much time it spent doing different things. There's quite a bit of new documentation about this, so it can really help you cut down on that multi-QC runtime if it's, if it's important to you. Okay, that's it for now. It's just a short talk. If you're interested, please go and visit the multi-QC homepage. There's a lot of documentation there, both about customizing reports when you run it, and also about developing new modules and code. The source code for multi-QC is all held on GitHub under a GPL license, and there's a Git chat room if you need any help. If you have any questions, please let me know and feel free to drop me an email or find me on Twitter or GitHub. Thanks for your time and many thanks to the organizers.